So I kind of want to introduce what an interferometer is. Like what an interferometer is, because it's the most visibly obvious example of what we're talking about. So an interferometer is a piece of equipment where you've got two laser beams, and you send them in different directions, bounce them around a couple of times maybe, and you measure the difference in path length and use the constructive or destructive interference to learn stuff. Uh, the medical application is known as optical coherence tomography, which uses an interferometer to make 3D images. So what does an interferometer look like? I'm actually just going to jump right into the OCT interferometer. So over here, we're just looking at what they are and kind of how they work. So over here, I've got a laser beam. It comes out, and it hits this thing called a beam splitter. Hits this thing called a beam splitter. These are super common in interferometers, so it's worth talking a little bit about what they are. OK? So basically, it's a mirror that's half silvered, so it's half reflective. Half the light goes through, half the light bounces. That's all a beam splitter is. So one light ray bounces off the beam splitter, hits this mirror, and bounces back. Might call that, say, L1. Then I've got another light path that goes through the beam splitter, bounces off this mirror, good old law of reflection, theta i, theta f, goes through whatever sample I'm looking at. There's another mirror under here, causing it to bounce back and come back. So that's L2. So I've got two light paths. One of them went through the sample. The other one didn't. Different optical path lengths. In particular, depending upon how thick that sample is. Sometimes they'll interfere constructively. Sometimes they'll interfere destructively. And here is a cool picture made with OCT. This is a picture of a fingertip made with an interferometer. Since the interference depends upon the thickness of the material, you can actually get a full 3D image. So this is a full 3D image of the dermis at a fingertip. The little curly Q things are sweat glands. 